and data analysis. Now, uh, just to, uh, before I start, I'd like to introduce a few of the terms that I'm, I'm going to use. OGL, we refer to Open and Distance Learning. OUM, refer to Open Unit Simulation. EMA, Transfer Matrix, Factor Analysis. And there are three constructs that I'm using for this uh, thesis. And that is a service policy. By that I mean performance of services provided by an OGL institution in the city kind of services offered and what kind of quality. And it's measured by the performance in terms of uh, 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 performance in terms of very poor from very poor to excellent on a certain point they can scale. And then student satisfaction is the attitude of the student that results from the evaluation of the services received by the students. Right? What kind of uh, what do they think about our services? Satisfaction is rated by the student, not by the institution, but by the student, from very unsatisfied to very satisfied, again on a certain point uh, scale. Now, student retention, here I mean completion of a study program by the student in an ODL institution, whether it completes the program or not, and it's measured for the purpose of practical purpose, it's measured in terms of whether the student agrees with a statement on intention, this is intention uh, to complete the study program by the student. It's not by realized by the, by the intention. Now, as a background, as we all know that the uh, uh, ODL institutions uh, uh, experience a low retention of students. And uh, what and this has given rise to a major concern to educational needs. Administrators and researchers alike. Right? Why? As a, a found in a study by Latifa uh, in the Revenue Growth Strategy, a number of uh, repercussions in terms of this uh, low retention. One of the major uh, uh, implications is that it's a financial loss to the institution. For example, in the study, she found that a 1% decrease in re registered students result in a loss of 4.5 million ringgit uh, over the study period. Or in other words, uh, if you can increase the registration rate, uh, we could increase uh, the revenue by 4.5 million. So you can see the impact. What about the loss of future contributions from those who graduate? Right? And uh, public relations, but word of mouth, whether uh, people will go around